Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest. I am a registered civil marriage celebrant in Australia, so I love love, but I also love playing video games. And today we are back in Baldur's Gate 3. I am playing a Dark Urge Origin Bard, I'm sorry. Uh, and we're having I'm a heap of fun. Forward. So let's keep going. Please? I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? Oh. I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You've melt that poison before. Have I? A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Oh, could it? Thief, poison, what's that girl's actual crime? Imprison her, she's just a child. I could do nothing. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me, here I am. Mm. Do I care for the child? I mean, that's a terrible thing to ask, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, what's her actual crime, I guess? Well, she's just a child. She's a parasite. Oh dear. She eats our food. <laughs> Drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. Well, that's not nice. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Oh my gosh. Oh Come my gosh. Kulga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The oh, death dear. of a child. <gasps> a timeless tragedy that never grows old. Why is my character smirking? <laughs> okay. Flick your eyes to the exit so the child will try to run. Oh my god, that's mean. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Oh, nature. Don't druids cherish harmony? Jalen the girl disrupts nature's balance. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Will I? I don't have room in my party, mate. <laughs> oh, a bad persuasion. Sylvanas was more concerned with nobly sown seeds than punishing children, was he not? Detect thoughts. I can read Karga's, Karga's mind. Keep silent or prepare to attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do I do? I could lean into the bard. Um, don't, I don't think, no, we don't, I don't want to kill kids. Oh, we need a 15. This might not go well. I can add a bonus. All right, let's add a guidance from Gail. Oh, we got an 18. Oh, thank gosh. <laughs> the words of the tree father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sif, Sif, Wait, was that me. easy? Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Holson will- Halson isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue. Let uh -huh. Tila pierce it. Oh, wait. I like her. <laughs> oh, Gail, what do you have going on? That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? That's true. Putting a child on display like that was monstrous. I'm glad we intervened. Forgiveness means nothing if she doesn't learn from her mistakes. Well, that's true. Sounds like you have something to confess. Uh, let's go to the second one. Calm, let's cut the kids some slack, shall we? She didn't deserve this madcap spectacle as far as I'm concerned. Right, okay, so what, that's a little bit of, I guess, Gail's uh, morals. Let's, uh, let's speak to this guy, Very Raph. Well. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. That Koga seems dangerous. 
And if I hadn't have spoken up, what would have happened? I've heard there's some sort of ritual going on. So I can literally just ignore what's happened. Um, let's just ignore what's happened. One meant to seal us in, meant to seal them out. Blasphemous. The tree father must see what's happening in his holy grove. Perhaps his eyes are on Master Halsin now. Perhaps. If no one's looking for Halsin, I could do it. I'm looking for Nettie. Sounds like I'd better leave. Well, I am looking for Nettie. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. If no one's looking for Halsin, I could do it. Or well, sounds like I'd better leave. I could look for Halsin. That'll be... Would you? All right. I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Well, especially if he is the best healer. I need to fret. I'll find him. I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Never mind, I'm not interested. Let's get a more solid offer. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you. Thank even you. Even if the circle forbids it. Oh. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He oh. left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Okay. Well, thank you, Rath. Come, Silver. Stay close. Oh, oh, Silver. <laughs> Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I don't know. Only a monster would threaten a child. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Honestly, I just want to see what would happen. <laughs> Um, I think you're protecting your own. First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Right, okay. This right must be born of powerful magic. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. What do you want? It's none of my concern. Uh, do what you want. It's none of my concern. I could reach for my weapon or I could leave. Um. I think I told Zevlor to get out, didn't I? So basically, I think I should go with do what you want. So you say. Yet the child walks free. That's true, actually. I did intervene. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Oh god, well when's final prayer? Then it seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. Probably you want the refugees aren't my concern or attack. Um. Well, I told Zevlor that he should go. I guess. Um, I guess I can try to help them out. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove. Forever shrouded. I mean, what do I care if the druids just want to seal themselves in? Not again. Cursed to put my hands on everything. My claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak. Sylvanas, god of nature. Hmm. Okay. Guy Darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild. A riddle to some, but you understand the meaning immediately. Oh, do I? The druids turn to the harpers for help. Unusual for such a territorial group. Who are the Harpers? The Union Park. The Fallen Park. The towers seized, the battle done. 
the moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shah on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluna. Huh. Okay. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Damn, you're not very nice. All right, uh, where is Nettie? Here she is. I see you. Just give me a moment. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? Wait patiently? Excuse me, I'm more important than some bird. <laughs> Let's do that. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This may be there. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I feel like an asshole now. That literally took two seconds. Uh, I'm looking for Nettie. I need help now. Healing looks like I came to the right person. I need help now. Just picking out my bedside manners better than yours. I Come hope here. so. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I uh, have a tadpole in my head. Everything about me is sick. The dizzy spells, the memory loss. Well, that's true. The ill third parasite. More than tired. Something crawled into my eye. <laughs> right, yes, I'm very tired indeed. Uh, let's tell her everything. Why not? A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. You know of them? Can you help me? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped into my eye. Actually, never, ni never mind. I'll get help elsewhere. Uh, can you help I, me? I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Come on, Nettie, come through for me. Oh, mugwort. <laughs> All right. So much stuff here I could loot, but I'll get in trouble. <laughs> There's something in this one had the same oh, problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Right? Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. The drow and I have the same kind of parasite. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. So you killed him and laid him out on the table. Is everyone being captured by mind flayers these days? Didn't think it was a common experience. So you killed him and laid him out on the table? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. <laughs> that was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. Okay. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. All right. Let's see what we can do. Thank you. I'll take anything that can help. What's that plant? Will it help? Just hurry up and cure me. I don't have time to chat. Um, what's the plant? Will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell Point me about your failed. symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Well, let's see. I can measure my mind with anyone else that's infected. I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. An intellect devourer spoke to me as if I was one of its own. No, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Um, I can merge my mind. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Oh gosh, so many questions. <laughs> Look, are you going to cue me or not? You're asking a lot of questions. I don't know, I just woke up with it. 
on a mind flayer ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. True. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about the branch of yours? I swear. All right, hand it over. No, I'm not taking poison from a woman I can't trust. Um. Yeah, hand it swear over. Swear it. Uh, okay, I swear, fine. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean should be changing? You must have learned something from studying them. Just tell me if there's a cure or not. Uh, what do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms, for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So you think it's only a matter of time? That's good news? You said you were tracking other vi victims. Did they change? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson oh. heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Oh, Join okay. Join on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Right. What do you want me to do? So go and get him. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. Huh. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Well, sounds pretty good, actually. Sounds like suicide, I won't do it. You sure he can cure me? Sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the girl. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Time, Nettie. Come on. So can I take this? Is that mind flare parasite specimen? Where's Nettie? Is she gonna? No, she's not in here. I'll take that. Let's see if we can take it. Oh, there's a couple in there. A hastily written note. Oh. Dear Nettie, I entrust you with the circlet to open the library. Wear it always. If you need to enter the vault, talk to Wrath. He has the rune, but won't give it to anyone. So be sure to have good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gone and take care of the animals. Don't give fish to Tuffet. She's getting lazy. Oh, that's cute. From Master Halson. Oh, what's this? The parasite was nestled deep in the brain matter, yet the host seemed unaware while alive. No visible signs of seromorphosis on the cadaver. Most strange. Huh. 
Holson's journal says extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins led by Drow. We had no choice but defend ourselves. But that is no, not the extraordinary or rather disturbing part. On the Drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. Ah. I managed to capture it and I have the host cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears, nobody suspects, but no one uh, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Koga will demand answers and I don't uh, that I don't have yet. I had better record any future findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. Hmm. Okay. What if Halson is At the ready. All right. Um. Any word on Master well, Halson? No. Um. <laughs> Do you know where he went? He and the adventurers were headed to the ruined temple in the west. Master Halson studied that drow for days. And he was sure something at the temple could help his research. I'm praying he was right. Mm, okay. So, uh, what else do I need to do now? I need to try to convince the tieflings to leave, I guess. Don't I? Everything. I need to go to talk to Zevla, I think his name is. Okay. Um, this way. Never a dull moment. Up here. Oh, we've got these girls' parents as well to talk to. What's up for discussion? You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. <laughs> Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Well, she's a bit naughty, but she's just a kid, right? I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. I saved your daughter. Got anything more than thank yous for me? Uh, this could have ended badly. Keep her in line from now on. No more light-fingered antics, all right, Arabella? Uh, I want to say keep her in line. The Nine Hells will sooner freeze over, but we'll try. She must just be a little rascal. So what do I get? Not yours. Kamira's locket. The druids don't care it, about I can us. do dancing lights, no evocation does. cantrip. We have to look after ourselves. That's um, what the says. Yes. Does he have a necklace? Oh, that's right. He can do divination, or whatever it's called. What's it called? Guidance. Oh, action, not reaction. Still alive. So that's. Well, why don't I send that to Starian? How delicious! I guess just until we've got something better. Let me work my magic. Eager for battle. Still breathing, despite everything. We also need to go and get another goddamn sh another goddamn shovel. Uh, we got a few bits and bobs to sell, so why don't I? What path lies before me? Stop. Go up here. I was fine. Mother was a heartbeat away from fighting a bear. Hey, Donny. Oh, Donny. Insight, where the hells did you disappear to before? Donny, isn't it? I want to see the dragon's lair. I want to see the dragon's lair. He nods. 
then reaches for a concealed hatch. Oh. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. <laughs> Hello? His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Damn. Alrighty. Um, oh, concealed hatch. Tiefling hideout. What's here? Okay, I can't get there. What if I'm... Lazel, does she have a little bit longer? Hindrance breeds madness. A little bit longer jump? I don't suppose if I do a dash, it can make the jump longer. I'm going to guess no. <gasps> Wait, Githyanki Psychonics jump. Triple a creature's jumping distance. What? Mate, can we go get that thing now? Oh my god, we can. What's in here? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Was that worth it? I'm not sure. Is there anything else here? So, where did I get that trip? That trick from? How do I find out? Maybe it's because... I don't know what that's from. Maybe it's just part of my leveling. Let's get going. Alright, let's do Very this. Well. <sighs> A hole. Um, no, hang on. Before I go out, I want to talk to these little guys, don't I? Melly. Oh, there's Mercon. Something's on my mind. Let's speak to him first. You came! I have... Here. Mal said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you Oh my a story. gosh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's not usually how I get paid for killing monsters. I've heard enough of your chatter. I don't need more. Aren't you a clever one? That's very kind. Uh, it's not usually how I get paid. I... I don't have any gold. Sorry. Oh my gosh. What a sweetie. Oh! I can still be mean to him. I've had enough of your chatter. I don't need more. Aren't you a clever one? That's very kind. Let's, um... I can't be mean to kids. It's about you. I hope you like it. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Let's... <laughs> Let's read this. Once there was a boy on a beach. He saw there was a harpy nest. He was a very good climber. He wanted to climb to the top and steal from the harpy nest. But the harpy was very mean. She sang a song and the boy forgot what he was doing. But then an adventurer passed by. The adventurer was very strong and killed the harpy in one blow and saved the boy. The boy was very cold and scared. He was standing in the water, so he was very cold. But the adventurer had saved him. The boy thought the adventurer was amazing. <laughs> the boy wanted to be like the adventurer. He wanted to be strong and save people and never be scared again, just like the adventurer. The end. Oh my gosh, that's cute as hell, man. <laughs> Anything good today? No. Everyone's got junk. Zaki Mole. I think this is well, who I need to speak to. Come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Messing with our business. Yeah? What do you mean? You took advantage of Mattis. Now you're going to pay. Who's for Mattis? It. Uh, you're about as intimidating as a flail snail in a salt mine. 
I don't think I'll be paying for anything. Bye for now. Persuasion. You're right. I won't mess with any of your gang again. Promise. Detect thoughts. Read her mind. Uh, let's go persuasion. You're right. It'd be a bit sarcastic, I guess. Oh, we got... Oh, my God. We got a one. That's terrible. Should we roll again? Oh, let's roll again. Oh, my God. Just. Is that right? Fine. You get one more chance. Nice. We're done here. Get lost. Oh, so that's it? Little slow on the uptake, aren't <laughs> you? Seems so. Any reason you're still here? Oh, okay. So that's it? To run the ring scam. The ring scam. I bet that scam is going to kill in Baldur's Gate. To attach to that con kids. Investigate the breach or the beach. Find Mole. I did. Oh, I did find Mole, but Mole doesn't want to talk to me. Is that blood? No. Never mind. Better not be cursed. Oh god, the kids are getting annoyed. <laughs> Can I jump up here? No? What about my githyanki? Maybe I should... Uh... No. This is good. You can't be here! You can't this is our hideout! Here. This is our hideout! Quickly then. You're not supposed to be here! Oh, she can! What's up here? I'm going to guess that none of the others can follow me. Anything here? No. Oh. Can I jump over here? No. Bit too much. Sorry about the nest. What about there? You guys find anything good today? Everyone's got junk. Worse than junk. Don't worry, kid. In Boulder's Gate, purses practically grow on trees. Be patient. We'll get there. You can't be here. This you is can't our be hideout. Here. This is our hideout. Here you go for that. You can't be here. This is our hideout. Yes, we know, darlings. Best be on my way. You're not supposed to be here. All right, let's go. I'm trying to find the way out. God, it's boring in here. You're not supposed to be here. All right, let's go. You're not supposed to be here. Let's see. All right, so I don't know what happened there with Mole. I can't. I guess I can't progress that quest now. I don't know what I did that was so wrong. Uh, how do I find the quest log? No, not that one. The journal, that's it. Uh, investigate the beach. Donnie revealed a hatch and opened it for us. The dungeon's lair, oh sorry, the dragon's lair must be below. Donnie appeared somewhere, disappeared somewhere. We'll need to find another way to get to Mole or maybe Donnie will be back eventually. Okay. So speak to Donnie, not Astarian. Yeah. <laughs> sorry Astarian, I didn't mean to press you. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. <laughs> oh, is that it? Okay, I don't know what to do with him. We'll, we'll just come back to that one. Oh, we can loot these things. And then hopefully sell them on. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Another one. Ooh. My friend's blood not enough. 
come to rip me open too. Only if you're lucky. In Crash Clear, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. You heard the woman bow. Hold it, Lazel. I'll see to this one. Um, I'll say yes. Lower. <laughs> Wait for the tiefling to obey. She's serious. You better get on your knees fast. That's enough, Lazella. Take it from here. You saw another gift. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. <laughs> Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. <laughs> Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. <laughs> I was hoping for a show. Call your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. All right. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. Do you plan to be that rough with everyone we meet? You're a dab hand at interrogations. We might need that skill again. What comes next? Uh, let's tell her that she's a dab hand at interrogations. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The teeth sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Hey, did you say teethling? What do you mean purification? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. <laughs> it's Fey run. What do you mean purification? Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki safest can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Oh, okay, we can't interact further. What about these guys? What's on your mind? So, Gail, what do you make of having a vampire in our camp? We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Hmm. Okay. And Astarian, how are you going? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's keep looting. Got that one. Right. I've got food, water, my dagger. Anything of use? Some more camp supplies. That'll be good. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. A makeshift prison. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Uh oh. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wanders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Oh my gosh. <laughs> shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Shut up, those words could be your last. Step between the crossbow, a crossbow and the goblin. 
this this is wrong isn't it stand back and admire the guards overflowing hate um so the tieflings I've already told that they need to go I need to escort them out um Korger, I said that I would talk to Zevlor about it have I done anything with promises to the goblins yet Probably not, but I need Master Halson. Um, I want to see if I can get this goblin to introduce me at the goblin camp. So I'm going to stand between the crossbow and the goblin. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You got to kill her too. <laughs> you move. Lower the crossbow, I'll, I'll deliver you right to your brother. No, shoot me. Should be easy, right? This won't avenge cannon. It won't change anything. Read the tiefling's thoughts or step out of the way. I... Let's say it won't bring back cannon. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Because she's not a practicing target. A practice target. She's a person. If she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. That's a good one. A goblin prisoner? Her life isn't yours to take. Because vengeance eats people alive. You'll grant the goblins two victories this day. My reasons are my own. Oh, bud. She still has a story to tell. I want to hear. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Your soft heart will be the death of us. <laughs> Gods, you're exhausting. Fine, then. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Gale, man. Gale's freaking loving this at the moment. I want to see their approval. Quite ready for you. Uh, so his relationship with me is fair. Huh? Starians is fair. Lazel is fair. Alright, fine. Uh, let's talk to Gail. Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the yawning portal. A yawning portal? Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. What about uh, what was the standoff about? I'm not in the mood for anecdotes or I've heard superstitious innkeepers uh, muttering about the yawning pool. What is it? An inn in Waterdeep. Oh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the under mountain, you see, full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. Huh. What was the standoff about? I'm not in the mood for anecdotes. Let's say what the, ask what the standoff is about. Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. What happened next? Please tell me a shot. Oh, that shot was fired. You know what? I actually don't care about the, how the story ends. I'm gonna ask or say please tell me a shot was fired. No no no. Yours truly diffused. Oh, did you now? I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. 
In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I drink to that. <laughs> me too. Oh, that's cool. So Gail likes me then. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. What's hiding here? All right, so how do we get you out of here? What are you messing with my cage for? It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. Hmm. I just saved your life. Show some gratitude. Who is the absolute you're so fond of? Your god? Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. You've got my interest. Have any holy literature on you? An old powerful goddess that can't get you out of a cage. Uh, <laughs> literature. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute bless one of our own. Priestess gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. Mighty booyog. I'm not saying we should trust a goblin, but she sounds very useful. Hmm. Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Nice story, but i buy it for a copper in a tavern nearby. So that we'd like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Deal, I'll get you out of here. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. Not a chance you can write in a cage. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get her out of here. Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. All right. Can't slow you down. Thieves are all boring. Even your cages are boring. <laughs> Hang on, can we jump here? Oh, what are we perceiving? Oh. That's curious. That is curious. Um. Alright, we'll remember that that's there. I don't like the look of that either. Was there something here? Oopsie. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> are there more? What pouch? Oh, what's this? Oh! What is this? Arrow of transposition. Teleport wherever you fire this arrow. Oh my gosh. That's kind of cool. Pantry chest? Oh, we can get in here. Oh. Stop! This place is off limits. Leave. In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her. Far beneath your talents. Jeez, I am bloodthirsty. <laughs> I'm just looking around. Study her face and try to read her emotions. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Well, that's a lie. I'm afraid I can't. I've been placed in charge of this area or intimidation. Hush, girl. Another word and I'll snap your neck. Oh, well, we're not going to do that, are we? Uh, don't worry, I'm here to help. Damn it. Was inventory today? 
I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. What happened? Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Need a hand up? Huh, you look ridiculous. <laughs> I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! Oh my god. She's helpless. You could ensure she never stands again. Resist the urge to break her legs. Ask about the potion. Sounds like it was quite a dodgy brew. Don't worry, you're not the only one to have trouble standing up too many potions. Uh, she can't come um she can't come after you. Take her bag and leave. Ask about the potion. From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. <laughs> to her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. <laughs> Crate guarding is a serious job. You must feel pretty useless. That doesn't sound like a side effect at all. Let me heal you. You'd be dead in seconds if the goblins come. I can heal you for a price. Let's heal her for a price. Nice. All right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Here. All right, hold still and I'll cast the spell. Pocket the money and leave. All right. So which spell do I have to cast on her? So she's paralyzed. Huh. What if I threw a potion at her? Wait, what if I stood next to her and threw the potion at her? Target is too close. Did that work? Guards! Guards! This is a restricted <laughs> area. Time to explain yourself or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Are you joking? <gasps> Buy your way in for seventeen sixty. How about a little something to smooth things over? Four hundred forty. <laughs> Acquiesce and follow to prison. Try to talk your way out of it. Try to convince them you belong here. Oops. <laughs> um, I'm gonna convince them that I belong here. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? I live here. <laughs> I'm here for the routine inspection. I'm sure your superiors would be very interested to know you tried to deny me entry. Better act as if I'm allowed to be here rather than admit you let me get this far. Oh my god, that's a good one. Let's go the intimidation. Oh, I need a 22. Oh man, this is not good. So it's a 1d6. That's a 1d4. I guess it's better for the 1d6. Oh, I can also add his guidance. All right, let's do it. I need a 22. Go. <laughs> oh, dear me. I guess we're fighting them. Oh, I could roll again or just let it play through. Um, Let's roll again. Let's just see. No, okay, that's telling me something. <laughs> you try your best, but your best just isn't good enough. Oh, well, there's no way I'm paying, so let's acquiesce. Guards! Guards! 
You've been locked up for your crimes. If you want your freedom back, you'll have to break out of the prison cell. Let me out, you bunch of huh. That's interesting. Always room for more. I... Oh. I happen to have a rogue. Clock. No thieves tools available. Hang on. Has all my shit been taken? <gasps> Action, not reaction. How do I get out then? I have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Can I like jump? Th jump through here somehow? Oh, I can. Here goes nothing. Oh. It's alright. Try again. The gods are watching me. Okay, at least I can jump out of here. Fill up sack. Oh no, no, mushrooms, mushrooms. <laughs> that was lucky. Perform class action. Play a tune to attract and delight those around you. Oh. Oh, it's like that, but oh my gosh, am I just whistling? Oh my gosh, that's funny. All right, so we've got a pitchfork. Do I go ahead and use the pitchfork on uh, <laughs> on these mushrooms? Let's see. Oop. Oh well. Well, we're just gonna have to do it again. That's all right. We'll take a few hits. Okay. That's all right. At least I can come up here. Um, oh, you have committed enough crimes to become a fugitive from the law. Nearby guards will do their best to bring you to justice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Your notoriety will eventually pass. Oh, my gosh. So... Recently escaped from the Groves prison, local guards will arrest this character on site. So I just have to wait until this is done? I need to shut that door, oh, don't I? So Let's see if I can go and shut this door. Curse to put my hands on everything. Go, 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 shut the door. Okay. I think that means they can't see me. Where's all that gear? Oh. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids and your birdies so, and your dogs. That means I should be able to. So I've still got my hat on, which is good. Uh, what did I have on my? On my bard, was it? I can't remember. That went to Lazel. I think Rain Dancer. That went to Gale. And then two daggers goes to Astarian. Oh my gosh, there's my beautiful violin. Put that on. <laughs> uh, we can do the crossbow. Uh, we'll have to. Yeah, I guess. I might have to send them the ranged weapons. Nothing. Yeah, okay. Lost in thought. Alright, Gail, there's your staff back. Well, hello. Hello, Astarian. Let's equip those. Um shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. We'll have to send a few ranged options to the gang as well. How delicious. Can he use this? Yes, he can. Looking ahead. Uh, we need a ranged option for Lazel. Oh, action, not reaction. Uh, yep, yeah, cool. Okay, this will do for now, I think. Let me out, you bunch of so 
your face. What to do? Okay, cool. Right. Okay, so what do I do now? Just like can't slow down. You're gonna be sorry. You gonna open this cage or what? Well, I'm gonna try to. Well, hurry up. I wonder if Astarian can do it. Keep your distance, darling. Oh, he's happy. Who did he eat? <laughs> oh, me. I met your friend. <laughs> you here to get me out of here? I forgot. Oh. <laughs> well, hurry up. I forgot he killed us in the last episode. Oh, you are all oh I can't lockpick. Is that because I... Oh, for Wait. I can lockpick. I thought it said... I thought it meant that I can't. Okay. So, if I open this gate now... Oh, we got 15 XP. Um, I have to keep going. I want to do this this little secret door here before I see that Saza gets freed. So I'm not sure if I've made the right decision on that one, to be honest. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> um, okay. Glowing eyes are really a good sign. Best be careful. Yes, so we'll take a star in. We're going to hide. Ready or not, quietly. And we're going to turn off this right. plaque, the rune of the bear. So that the statue doesn't shoot us. All's well that ends. Okay, let's move these guys up. That'd be funny. Yeah. Give him something to cry about. I wanna see if I can voice, use the Starion to do a sneak ranged attack. I wonder if that would work. Silent is the grave. Ninety-one percent. Let's do yeah. it. She'll kill us dead. Ooh, what did we get? Oh, we only have to hit him for one more now. That's awesome. Um. I have half a mind to try to get her. Oh my gosh, we took her out. That's awesome. Oh, I can still use my vampire bite as well. Do I have enough movement to get him? No. Um, let's move up. What's that? A water barrel. Hmm. I wonder if I can hit it. No. Can I hit you? No. Uh, all right, you just stay there, Astarian. But can I use any of these guys? Like, I'm wondering if she gets a piercing shot off. Like, where's... Yeah, let's try it. Here we go again. Oh, they rolled a four. Gosh darn it. Yeah, why not? Nice. Oh my gosh. Well done. Um, my patience waits. Lazel. Can you hit this Your guy? Pain, my pleasure. Will that be an opportunity attack? No, it's not. Perfect. Um. Oh my gosh! I can't believe it. We've almost, almost done it. One Who's? Can't always be a gentleman. Do you have no, no? Gail, how come you can't go? This is not your character's turn. All right, fine. Um, go for the throat. Let's go Astarian. Okay, now it's Gail, that's fine. So we literally just need to hit for one. Um, let's just see if that'll hit. 
Oh my lord, are you serious? Yeah, right. And then we can rest. Okay, cool. Excellent. Let's move. Very good. Seems like a good moment to talk. His breaths are shallow. His <laughs> I thought his eyes deep. were open. He doesn't respond to your voice. He's got deep wounds, does he? All right, let's stand next to him and we'll throw a health pot. Here we go. Beautiful. I don't think that got us at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought I was going to die down here. Me too. <laughs> How did those go goblins slip into the grove? Was no one looking for you? I'm surprised the goblins didn't gut you on sight. Why didn't they? Don't thank me yet. I'm here to finish what they started. Oh, why would I do that? How did the glob... glob uh, How did those goblins slip into the grove? Oh, it's my fault. Oh, I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Okay. Um. All right. Where is Astarian? Huh? Step lightly. That's curious. Hmm. It's packed too tight. I'll need a shovel. Oh god, do we still not have a shovel? Mate. This way. What the on earth? Very well, mate. That nearly ended me. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, alright, fair dues. Um <laughs> let's take Lazel. Action, not reaction. Can't they sell? Undetected. Mm, I'm sure. Um, I prayed. I think he got it. Yeah, I think he did. All right, cool. No, he didn't. What? Flick that off, please. Oh my gosh. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> what the hell? Why is it? Why can't I turn that rune off? That's very strange. Uh, Never a dull moment. That's true. Never a dull moment. Okay, let's just keep going. And we'll work that out okay. later. All right, let's head up here. Open up. I need to take out this rune as well. Yeah, that's so weird. Why would that one? I don't know. I'm uncertain. Let's see. Let's should turn that one off. Okay, that turns that one off. That's fine. Oh, a disarm. I don't know if I can do a disarm. Oh, I need a 10. Nice. Oh, and I still need to lockpick it, though. Come on, open up. Unless I get that, um, the key from the body that Near Lazel. I think we will have to do that actually. Let's loot these first. Let's have a look. It's very strange. I don't know why that um, didn't stop those going off. All right, cool. Let's go back down.
Hmm. I wonder if I can jump from there. Oh, you can. But you're prone to... Ready and willing. Uh, let's separate the group again. Charmed, I'm sure. Wonder if we can go to turn based. Wonder if that helps at all. We could get that. Those two I'm going to res at the camp. I'll send this to Smocks. Such a long way down. I will. Yeah, let's see if that helps if they can't see me. I'm just going to move out the way. Okay, environmental. I don't know if they're going to... Just hurry, there's a long one. Yeah, okay, I can do him now. Okay, we're all good. Oh, it's too high? Uh... I don't know if this is going to work. Mm. I could exit turn base mode and then just get him to run up here. Oh, okay, so he's still in shadow, so I don't know. I don't know why that was so bad for them to do. Uh, okay, let's join parties again. Best get going. Best, let's go. Another step forward. All right, let's see what this chest has to offer. Hmm. Nice. Oh, nature's snare. Flytrap. Chance to ensnare a target if it is not a plant or a beast. And a potion of invisibility. For 10 turns. Cool. All right, I think we should make camp. Why, Gail, you're still in shadow. Seek and you shall find me. Let's go to camp. How much money do I have? Oh my god. <laughs> do I have any? Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. We might have enough to resurrect both of those guys. Let's hope so. Okay, where is Withers? There you are, mate. What's that for discussion? <laughs> Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Yes, I do. Or mayhaps then thou must return with the proper payment. I hope I have the proper payment. Okay, I want to resurrect Astarian. This is the price of balance. 200, that's all right. Well counted. I recommend keeping my distance for a moment. Okay. By doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Ah. Oh. You're back. Well, hello. What can I do for you? It's as if it's as if nothing happened. Fate. Can I? Thou yes. A new then thou must return. I need to resurrect Lazel, please. Well, can. <laughs> By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Oh, thank gosh. 
you're back. All right, beautiful. Lies on my feet. <laughs> okay. Let's all sleep for the day, please. Oh my gosh, everybody. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Astarian first. This is very pretty. Do you mind? <laughs> I was rather enjoying my view of the ceiling. Were you? Why? Pardon, I didn't mean to disturb such important work. You seem more relaxed. Am I disturbing you? Uh, you seem more relaxed. I am. I have been thinking. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Hmm. It doesn't have to be. We can still travel together. Probably. Once the worm is gone, I'm going my own way. What? Will you miss me? Uh, it doesn't have to be. We can still travel together. Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. Really? You're quite the ally, after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you didn't like me. True, I am pretty impressive. I'm just trying to survive like you. I have many talents. If you want to explore them, <laughs> you're too close. Hmm... I have many talents. <laughs> <laughs> A delicious thought, but... But what? <laughs> but what are you waiting for? I'm joking. Relax. Just keep your eyes away from my neck. A waste of time and leave. What are you waiting for? The right moment. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I... I need to clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. Ooh, baby. <laughs> okay. All right, so Will needs to talk to us as well. Tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. It's so weird. How do you feel? Surprisingly fine, in spite of it all. Nervous. I don't like the idea of that thing in my brain. Confident. No tiny tadpole would be getting the best of me. I'm more interested in how you feel. Uh... I think I feel surprisingly fine. <laughs> Surprising is just the word, isn't it? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Something special about us, or at least about our tadpoles. It makes no sense, I know. Why haven't we turned? We could probably dig up some poison mushrooms if you're that keen to be sick. Uh, it makes no sense. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, Shadowheart and Lazel. All right, let's see what they have to say. The leader of the pack comes to chat. You wanted to talk to What's me? What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. <laughs> the sooner we find the Druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Mm, so what will come next for you once this is over? How are you feeling? You know, this could be our last night together. <laughs> this could be our last night together. I hadn't thought of that. What do you have in mind? Oh my god, probably nothing, to be honest. <laughs> Is she serious? Probe her thoughts. Oh my gosh, no, that's terrible. Just an observation. How about a few songs around the fire? That sounds nice. Uh, probably wise to just get some rest. We could find somewhere discreet right now away from the camp. Oh my god. Let's sing a few songs. Uh, that sounds interesting. But on second thought, I'm quite tired. <laughs> Perhaps something else will come to you before we part ways. Rest well. Okay. All right, Lazo, what are you up to, bud? Kalek. I remember who I was in Kreshkalir. I was hungry to face my first gig. My sword pined for their blood. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Feyrun isn't so bad. Give it a chance. You want to do battle up where? Uh, what's the tears? Next time you're able, look to the sky. Watch the moon cross it. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Kalea. Are all Githyanki free uh, from the tears? It must be quite a shock to leave your crash behind and arrive here. Are all Githyanki from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a few competing ideas there. It's, it seems like it's Crash versus Halson. Gail, do you have anything to say while we're at it? What's on your mind? Nope. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's go. Okay, cool. So everybody's back on board. That's great. Um, let's go and let's go and escort um, Saza from the place. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Yeah, let's do it. Follow me, I'll keep you safe. Who is the Absolute? We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Okay, follow me, I'll keep you safe. Happily, lead the way. Hmm. Some allies may temporarily join. Okay, you can directly control their movement and actions. Click a follower's portrait to take control of them. All right, let's go.
wonder what's gonna I can happen. Pack or talk, and right now I'm packing. Okay. Your rescue attempt oh. has been noticed. Choose your next move carefully. Okay. Before Halston left, uh, he told me to set this uh, goblin free. Anyone who wants to hurt Saza will face me first. Quiet, she's going to help me destroy her old camp. Um, let's do persuasion. She's going to help me destroy the old camp. Oh, we got a 14. Oh no, does that mean, does that mean I have to fight this lady now? Um, let's roll again. Oh, we did it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> You're persuasive enough. You and the goblin are free to go. All right. Oh, that was lucky. Please leave us be. Oh, it's this those two. A good time. It's fine, Memnos. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. No. She's a bit meh. <laughs> I wonder when the goblins will come. Oh no. Oh no. Who are we in combat with exactly? Literally everybody? Um. Uh. Only four. Let's get Memnos. Can I do a sneak attack at all? Oh, I can. Let's do it. No escape. 13, all right, I'll take that. Let's do a back one as well. Or an offhand for two. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Uh, let's move down a little further. This is not going to go well, I have a feeling. Temporarily hostile. You can knock out or flee from a temporary host temporarily hostile entity and return later. They might resent you, but Something, something. Okay. Lazel, uh, take her out. Great. And then down to here. Let's take another action. Yeah, this one. Oh my god, a crit for 22. Okay, let's move down here. I don't want to take out the, um, the blacksmith, though. Hmm. I don't know. I wanted to sell stuff to him. So Cal used throw on Memnos. Cal needs 11 to hit. They rolled a 13. Yes. Six of playcraft. <laughs> Good one. Alrighty. Memnos used arm strike on Astarian. He needed 14. They rolled a 17. Uh, I could change it to a 6. Um, may as well, why not? Okay, good, he missed. That's great. Okay, it's the bard's turn. I think let's inspire Astarian. Beautiful. Um, I can do him. I can do that one. Hmm. No, I need to be in the middle of everyone. Vicious mockery insult a creature. It has a disadvantage on its next attack roll. Looking. All right, let's do it on Cal. <laughs> Let's move down. Damn. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to move down, but that's okay. All right. Go on, Cesar. Oh, hit him for one. <laughs> oh, what? Cesar died? So this is basically useless. So that was literally just useless. Uh, 
Um, let's do mage armor on you. Uh, let's move a bit closer. To King Five. Okay, I don't know if this was worth it, to be honest now. It probably wasn't. You don't have an advantage, do you? No. Let's do Bam Bam on this guy. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> A critical miss, mate. Terrible. Let's end the turn there. Missed. Excellent. I should just make it that she just retaliates like that anyway. Alright, Lazel. I think you should lay in the smack down. Let's do a lacerate though. Because then at least he'll be bleeding. Um, let's come down here. And let's knock Okta out. Oh shit, yeah. And what's this one? Your next weapon attack gets an attack roll. Okay, great. Oh, he missed. That's awesome. Oh my god, she retaliated big time. Alright, so. Uh, Should I do... Can I reach? With Bane. I can. Awesome. Let's do this guy. That one. And this one. Nice. Alright. Don't need to heal anyone just yet. Alright, let's just stay here for a sec. Unless I want to throw something... Do we have anything that I can throw? A simple toxin coats my weapon. Uh, I think we're okay for now. Oh, a critical hit. Critical hit for one though on Lazel. Um, let's try some magic missiles, eh? I reckon a starring can take that guy for ten. Let's do one of those on you. One on you and one on you. So what do we get? Oh dear, that one's not even. <laughs> it's not even dead yet. Oh, missed on Gale. That's awesome. All right, Astarian. Why don't you bite this guy? Nice. And then let's take a swing at him. Beautiful. Let's loot while we're here. <laughs> um... I'm gonna stand here and he can he can get this guy for one doesn't really matter maybe I should have moved him on but Lizelle can get this guy oh we have a cleave wait a second I can get both of them beautiful no not beautiful critical miss <laughs> Okay, that's all right. Stand in my way. All right, body girl. Let's do this. I've also got Roland, Leah, Dennis. Mm. 
could heal myself actually it's probably not a bad thing to do for four wow that's very underwhelming nice will disapproves look yes okay it wouldn't have been my first choice but he decided to come over here <laughs> oh i'm encumbered that's not good can i send some stuff over somewhere um let's just like send all that to lazel does that help probably oh my god somebody else is joining it oh my lord <laughs> I'm still encumbered? Okay. Yes, nice one. Oh, Starion. Let's do one, two, and then three. Okay, great. Oh. A storage key and a prison key. Who was that guy? Ikaran. Um, of course. Let's go here and just see what's happening. Let's see if I can hit Dennis for eight. <laughs> Not bad at all. Let's go around here. <laughs> Miss nice. Have we got... Oh, Okta hasn't been looted yet. <laughs> um... Let's go around to this guy as well, I guess. Actually, I might just try to shoot him from here. For two. Nice one. No doubt, hun. No doubt. Oh, I miss. Bugger. Never mind. Let's heal a Starion. For four. Jeez, you've really got to step it up, brother. Oh god, I'm encumbered. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, let's do this, this, and this. Send that to Lazel. Oh my god, how much does everything weigh? There we go. That's a little better. I think we're just going to have to fight our way out of here. Even though Saz is dead, there's not much point. At least we tried. Uh, let's go for a big one of the ice knife. What the hell? <laughs> Didn't even hit the right guy. That is so funny. Um... That's so funny. My bad. Nice. All right, Laser, let's go, dude. This is your end. Oh, a twenty. What was that? A Fourteen or something. Nice one. Can't even catch my breath. Holy hell, she's like running away. Let's not run away, please. Uh, might just move close to pick up a Starion. She's only got eight health. At least I'll be able to take care of that, I think. She's just like, hi, how are you? <laughs> um, can I get this one too? I can. Beautiful. Oh, I've got four. All right, here we go. All right, 
right, what did that do? Oh, just barely. Uh, let's keep moving up with this. How frank, how smart. Yeah, just in case she's. Oh no, she's frightened. I forgot she can't run. Okay, Lazel, can you please take care of that one? Oh, you missed, Arn. I don't know if that does anything. <laughs> Let's pick him up. Nice. Let's heal him. Oh, that was a big one for eight. Very good. Swift as my feet can carry. Oh, now you're in this too? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this takes so damn long. Oh my gosh, that was huge. I wonder if our uh, Dark Urge character is just going to absolutely love this. Uh, Alright, Gale. You only need to hit him for three. Oh, come on. Nice. Uh, let's move. I don't know what this is doing, but... <laughs> um, Alright, Astarian. Where... They're up there. They're going to come down, though. Although that guy is like... The white is getting to me. I don't know if he's getting down. Let's see if we can climb up here. Should I dash? Let's dash. Let's go. Nice one, man. Alright, Lazel. Rolling. Who's rolling? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. Why don't we see if we can snipe her? Nice. Perfect. Blood comes easy these days. Blood does come easy these days. Right, let us go ahead and let's heal myself. All right, beautiful. Uh, we'll keep moving up with everyone. Oh, that guy is there. That's all right. Lazelle can cut him off. Is he coming down here? Oh, blimey, who's that Gale? Um, are you able to stealth? I don't know if this works at all. Hiding successful. Can you, like, sneak attack this guy at all, or...? No, I don't know if that works. Alright. All right, Lazel, I need you to... Where is he, this guy? Oh, you missed. That is not good, bro. The next weapon attack gets an attack roll. Let's... Come on. Can't stay idle. All right. Um, let's pick up Gale. Beautiful. What else do we get? We... No more actions. Um... Let's go up here with Astarian. I wonder if I can throw that. Oh, an acid vial. No, I can't. Okay. Maybe next round. Uh, let's stick with Astarian. I think he might need some healing. Oh, dear. 
Oh, we missed. That's awesome. All right, Gail, my man. Um, let's climb the ladder. And I need you to stand next to Astarian because I need, I need to throw a healing vial. Onward. I think that's my plan anyway. Because you don't have any healing potions. All right, Astarian, take care of this guy. Piercing strike. I can get him with. Uh, some bleed. No, it didn't work. All right. Do you have... No, you don't have any healing potion. All right. All right, so let's try this on the precision attack. I don't know if that's good or not, but let's try it out. All right. Let's go. I don't know if that was worth it, honestly. Let's heal ourselves as well. Hmm, only healed for five. I'm not super impressed with that. Let's go here. Let's throw a healing pot. If we have any. There we are. Can we get all three? No, we'll just get two then. Did that not get a Starion? Far out, that didn't get a Starion. Hmm. Okay, can I do that again or no? No, I can't. Okay. That's very disappointing. Oh shit, no, not you. That nearly ended me. Yeah, alright, matey. Um I'm basically just gonna have to do all of these on here, I think. Let's try that. Oh, okay, we've only got one more. That's awesome. Can I knock him off? I don't think I can. Because Gail has like no uh strength. Oh, I can't target. Oh no, here we go. God damn it, it was a great idea, Gail. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Astarian. You have to make this. Okay, great. He's down. Um, Gail will pick you up on the way through. Where's that person here? Okay. Moving. He's if this if he hits you, he's gonna take you out. We need strength. Yes. Beautiful. Can I still hit you? No, that's all right. We'll see how we go. Ooh, for four. Okay. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, thank gosh we missed. All right, Gail, pick her up. A recruitment poster. What's that? Anyways, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um... Let's go back here. Way. Starion. A hamstring shot reduces their movement speed. Let's do that because you keep sort of trying to run away. Oh, bugger. All right, let's see if we can do this. Astarian's only got one hit point left. He's gone. Oh, yes. Okay, he's only got three hits left. Let's go. Let's indeed. I need you to heal a Starion. That's for damn sure. Another step forward. Let's see, can I throw a pot? Ugh, far out. I can't even throw a pot. Well, a Starion's dead. If he gets hit. <laughs> Miss. Oh no. Oh, that was great. He's still dead. 
Alrighty, Gail. I need you to hit him. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you can't write this shit. Alright, wait to pick him up in a second. Come on, Lazel. Alright, beautiful. God, we got more bloody keys. Got keys coming out the wazoo. That's acid there. We might be able to jump it. I really want to try to get this guy. Let's try. Come on. Eight. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let's move down here. Right on my feet. We'll pick up Starion and then Gale can. Oh, Baka. Okay, Astarian. I mean, Gale, I really need you to hit this. Oh, for God's sake, you can't just freaking take him out. Can you jump this, bud? Awesome. Make way. Make way. Can you hit him from here? Oh, come on. Oh, fuck, you missed. Holy shit. I We've saved just need you to hit for one man. Take much more. This. Oh my god, you can't write this shit. All right, Lazel, come on, hit for one. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was that was a bit much. <laughs> All right, let's pick up you as well. All right, so now that Saza is dead. What's the point? Uh, Can't give up now. I hope we got a lot of XP for that. I don't think we got a huge amount. Um, but hey. Um, <laughs> hey, who's that? You're not hostile? Hope the goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blades. Oh, they're the humans. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right. What's hiding here? Oh, there's so many keys, man. Um If I talk to you guys, do you have anything to say about what I just did? I want to have a word. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, we probably should rest, you know. Ogle the gash in her flesh. Wait for her to finish cleaning the wound. You should probably get that looked at. I'm going to ogle at it. You lose yourself in the scab's weeping sea. <laughs> it is no masterwork, but it provides a base bliss to gaze upon. Like the sight of blood, do you? Just a little. Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have done the same in your place. He let you in, didn't he? It could have been worse. You are to blame. You put his people in danger. And what about our people? Half the crew's lying dead back in that ruin. Even the new lad, his first contract, and we land him in a god's damn goblin nest. <laughs> he actually stood and fought the stupid bastard. <laughs> like I never trained him better. I'm guessing that didn't end well. So you just left your friend to the goblins? He died with bravery. You should be proud. So you just left your friend to the goblins? These weren't no normal goblins. And Liam weren't no friend. All right. Just another raw recruit. Thought he was in some storybook. Okay. Um. Wound looks clean. Small mercies. Let's rest. I really feel like we earned it. <laughs> the first time I saw you, I figured you were champion. 
Oh. A woman of valor, integrity. Oh, uh, yeah. But you seem intent on proving me wrong. I'm sorry, Will. We did some bad things. <laughs> okay, Gail needs our help over there. Shadowheart need anything? She's pretty needy. Not right now. Uh, I need to send Lazel a few more bits and bobs. And then we really need to sell this stuff. Actually, you know what? We got a few pieces, didn't we? So that's heavy armor. Who can wear that? Maybe Lazel? No, it's the same. Body aid. Gain one plus bonus to strength saving throws and checks. All right, so she's got the same. No one stopped me yet. What's this other one? Medium armor. Who can wear medium? I don't think a starian can. Watch your back. No. And the bard can't either. Oh well, that's fine. Gail can consume that one, I guess. Let's go talk to Gail. Must be on my way. Maybe it'll bring us closer. Pretty. Ah, Mistra, the matron of magic herself. An ambitious desire indeed to hold her in your hands. Cut it out. That spell of yours is attracting mosquitoes. Ah, uh, let's use our bard powers. Oh. My, you startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. Is everything all right? Care to tell me why you were conjuring an image of the goddess? No special reason, really. I was just... practicing an incantation. Hmm. If you say so. I'll leave it... I'll leave you to it, then. Good night. Or there's more to that. Uh, there's more to it than that. You were contemplating her in a way I can hardly fathom. Oh, we only need five. Let's do it. can I say? She's... she's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is and embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. As far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Hmm. I didn't realize the depth of your devotion. You sound like a smitten schoolboy. You're deluded, Gail. There's more to life than one goddess. Ah, uh, I didn't realize your devotion. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music. Poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? Magic? I've no idea. <laughs> that sounds very familiar, yes. It's different for me, not quite so intense. I practice magic, not melodrama. Magic is music, poetry and beauty. Though I suspect you and I perform it differently, yeah. Fair enough. Though in the end, we're still playing the same composition. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. Oh. oh by all means. Then follow my lead. Okay. Oh god, this is a bit... Hmm? Is this a bit romantic? Now 
about you. Okay. In t uh, imitate the gesture with ease. Imitate the gesture quickly and decisively. Imitate the gesture slowly um, and as precisely as you can. Imitate the gesture with a flourish. Actually, never mind. Magic is not for me. Let's just imitate the gesture with ease. We did it. A familiar feeling, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Real Kantrak Eo. Okay, an easy incantation. Simply repeat after Gale. Repeat the words slowly but carefully. You sense power in these words. Speak them deliberately. Belt the words with a little flourish on Ao. <laughs> Actually, I dislike tongue twisters. Let's just call it a night. Mate, let's do the bard performance. Let's belt those words with a flourish. Ah, oh, yes. The scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. Hmm. Harmony comes easily to you. Allow it to wash over your mind and magic. Think of the here and now, this unexpected moment of learning. Imagine being a child, innocent, free from your afflictions. I think the third in, yeah, let's imagine being a child. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman, the woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Magical, sensual even. Effortless, you're a wonderful teacher. Incredible, though of course I could have managed it by myself. It feels like a good time to call it a night. That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. Hold on to the moment. It's a good night for intimacy. A satisfying end to a wondrous experience. It's time to let go. You're in no mood to be so close to Gale. <laughs> Release your grasp on the weave. We're going to hold on to the moment. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire and Gale will know it. Picture kissing him with tenderness, then with passion. Picture a romantic walk, your hand slipped within Gale's. Picture a hearty meal with Gail, food and friendship flowing between you. Picture kicking him in the gut. Oh my god. Picture his severed head on a spike. Picture nothing. This is a bad idea. Um. Oh my gosh. Do I want to be romancing Gail? Um. Oh, fine. Let's just see where it takes us. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates. <laughs> and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. 
How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Oh, that's cute. That's... <laughs> that's very cute. can I do for you? Okay, so I've just flirted hard with Gail and now I'm going to tell a story and that he can feed on me tonight. My sweet, <gasps> there is nothing I'd like more. I'll come to you tonight when you're snugly wrapped in your bedroll and we can have a little privacy. And this time, I'll make sure I'm quiet. We don't want to disturb your rest. Later on, when we are at rest, I will eat you right up. <laughs> just enough to give me strength and just enough to leave you wishing for more. <laughs> Alrighty, good one. Okay, let's rest. Right, well, I've got to say that this is not how I pictured this, uh, this playthrough to go. With Easy money. killing but all of the teethlings, like, that is just not, for a good while after this. not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, um, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. When we come back in the next episode, we'll have to talk to uh, Auntie Betty, or is it? No, Auntie Ethel? I don't know. Um, we'll also have a little talk to these guys that are hanging around here. We'll go and see if we can see Zevlor as well. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. My name is Smox from Celebrant Quest. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you in the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Be good, everyone. Bye.